We just had another 4.1 magnitude earthquake at Santorini. So is it really over? Is it really safe now? Because the magnitudes keep getting larger again. So if you look at this, this is the current situation. Let me zoom in a little bit. So you see everything that is pinkish here. That's within the last few hours. And uh of course, it's not that much anymore. I'll show you the charts later, but there's still the magnitudes. So the latest that we had is a 2.1, very shallow, only two kilometers. But then there was this 4.1 that we see here that was just on March 16th local time. And 4.1, this is the same area where it has always been, where this massive earthquake swarm happened where this supposed magma intrusion from Santorini in here happened. So it remains to be seen. There's other earthquakes in other areas, not necessarily Santorini. But the thing is, there's reports already that the tourism industry, that the people that were planning to book for Santorini are going to the Turkish coast now because they don't feel that it is really safe right now. And then, of course, there's always officials from the tourism industry trying to smooth things over. Yeah, it wasn't, it's a safe island. The shaking wasn't really felt much, but you know, the shaking was shallow and people were leaving. They said, we can take it anymore. It's like a constant rattling and shaking. And they were worried about a volcanic eruption. And they were also worried about a magnitude seven plus earthquake like they already had. Um, in the 1950s. So now the officials are saying, yeah, it's all no problem. And people are skiing at Mount Etna, which is true. They There were tourists skiing near the lava, near the glowing, flowing eruption site. But if you count the number of tourists that were like, do you call them daredevils? Do you call them stupid? Do you call them careless? I don't know. I would say careless because rescue teams had to come and get some of them. This is just maybe a few compared to like 3.5 million people that come to Santorini every year. So you can't really compare that. Let's have a look at what the recent graphics are showing us. You see, this is going till March 14th. Um, that's a graphic that definitely shows us that the earthquakes have gotten so much less. So the yellow ones are the recent ones. But we see that line here with the magnitude four and we still see it's going up there in these ranges. So if we see these high magnitudes, it tells me there's still some stress wherever that stress might come from. Did that magma intrusion trigger some of these many fault lines there? There's a land rise at the underwater Colombo volcano. Is that putting stress on the surrounding areas or is there still something flowing underneath? Is there still magma intruding underneath? Not just that much anymore. We don't know. The earthquakes are still there. And that's also the next picture where you see it's still happening. Of course, it's not that high spike anymore, but it is still happening. And it still, I mean, you can't rule out that it could catch up again. Hopefully not. Hopefully it will die down completely. But <laughs> the problem is you can't say that. Tourism industry of Santorini still has hopes that they might have a good tourism year because luckily for them, that earthquake swarm was basically happening midwinter with more than 25,000 earthquakes in this area. Uh, so initially bookings fell a lot uh, and now residents and officials are hoping that tourists won't be scared off to come again. I would because we've heard from engineers that aside from the earthquakes, so many hotels and buildings and pools and, and stuff like this has been built illegally, but also not built to codes and are prone to collapse with a landslide. And through that big, big earthquake swarm, everything could have been damaged foundations and stuff. And if one landslide was about to happen, it would take all these buildings down there with it. So nope, um, 
I would not go there. That's my personal opinion. I'm not encouraging anyone to not go there. I don't want to hurt the Santorini tourism industry. It's a beautiful island, but I think everyone should be aware of the risks. Same as we just have something going on in Iceland. I just released a video. So if you're planning to go to the Blue Lagoon, be aware of that while you're swimming in that pool. At least you should be aware of what is happening there right now. Greek's government had earlier put some limits on how many cruise ships could come to Santorini daily because, you know, in the summer of 2024, it was so flooded and overrun with as many as 17,000 people daily on an island that has between 10 and 15,000 inhabitants. Travel industry says, the officials of the travel industry says, they're careful. They say there are signs that foreign visitors are willing to risk coming this year. We have heard just a few days ago from seismology professor Kostas Papatsahos. He has said in the Greek news that Santorini seismic detection and monitoring systems have been substantially upgraded and 120 seismographs are installed. But that does that guarantee safety because you cannot predict earthquakes? So if there's a big earthquake coming or whatever, yeah, you can measure that it's there, but you can't give a pre-warning for people that sit on these cliffside pools that might have been built illegally, that might have faulty foundations. We know Akis has criticized that a lot. And yeah, they're saying earthquake experts will remain on the island for the coming month and they will continue their work. But that doesn't mean that there is a concern. They're just like, that doesn't mean that so... they're just here. Um, if you follow my channel the last few days, they're saying in Campi Fligri and it's really rumbling there, guys. You should check out these videos. Yeah, we're monitoring the situation. And the scientists are saying, well, monitoring doesn't guarantee you safety, right? So they're saying, well, no concern. We're simply making the most of the opportunity to carry out studies that wouldn't be possible during periods with seismic activity. Uh, yeah, <laughs> guys, um, the mayor of Santorini, Nikos Tsoltsos, he told a travel news site, the quakes caused no damage and life was returning to normal and that measures would be taken to protect against landslides and ensure safety. Mm, good, that sounds good. I hope they can protect these cliffs from landslides because it's very brittle volcanic rock. This is a caldera. This is a volcano that's sticking out of the water. So he says people are now focused on how businesses will operate so that we have a normal tourist season this year. He, um, and hotel owners said they now felt more confident that the earthquakes are over. Well, I wouldn't be so confident with the 4.1 that we just had there, right? And then 2.5 and others in the list. Then they're further saying, or the mayor's further saying, local authorities and hoteliers have implemented comprehensive measures to ensure visitor safety, including regular inspections, structural assessments, and enhanced safety protocols across all hotels and tourist areas. Yeah, I would like to further know what that is and what they found. Have they closed down some establishments or some smaller bed and breakfast? Did they find faulty foundations as Akistilentis is claiming? I'd be interested in, in more. Um, so some resorts have reported a slower pace in reservations. And they're saying no point of concern because Santorini is typically a last minute destination. Fluctuations are not uncommon. Santorini remains safe and a welcoming destination. Well, there's some experts that are saying these hotels are not that safe. Watch my video about this. I have a Santorini playlist. And then they're saying travelers who may feel nervous about visiting Santorini but still want to go could or should consider travel insurance. That includes a cancellation for any reason. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, cancellation. But what if I'm there and then something happens? Huh. They're comparing this. So there's an insurance. They're, they're basically saying, yeah, it's almost like saying, well, I'm not going to go to California because there are earthquakes there. We have tremors here every day. So she said, but Santo they have tremors there every day and Santorini is just hoping for the same. Uh, yeah, definitely they have a point in California, San Andreas Fault and other faults. Uh, the big one 
uh, yeah, that is bad. I agree. And uh, yes, since that is overdue, um, Santorini is a volcano, which is also could have a big earthquake, 7.5 again, which was also then in the 50s followed by a 5.9 and a small volcanic eruption on Nea Kameni Island. So, and then you're sitting on an island and then you're sitting on cliffs that could slide down with your whole buildings. So overall, if you'd ask me, maybe that's subjective, but I would still rather take my chances, chances in California right now. I would probably avoid the big downtown areas and bridges and Highway 1 on the cliffside. You know what I mean, what I'm hinting at? So there is some way to compare it, yes, but not completely. So guys, we have to wait and see as always. Check my update about Iceland. Subsidence is the word that I'm saying. So Magna could already be on the way. So watch that video. And of course, watch my Campi Flegri videos. I have two videos. I know they're longer, guys. But if you want to know what the, all the measuring data are, what the INGV is doing and what these data sets are telling us, you should really watch my long video. It's a, an hour 40 long, but you should really watch it till the end because it gives you so much background knowledge. I know it's a little bit more technical, but I'm trying to explain it an easy way. But also I have another one. Uh, it's all in the end screen, but there's so many in the end screen. You can't click them all at once. So go to my channel page. You'll find all the videos there. And there's a join button if you want to support the channel with a monthly membership. And you're getting videos behind the scenes stuff only for members for that. Um, yeah, check the links in the description of this video or click the join button. And if you would like to support me with coffee, it all goes towards the vet bill for Apollo, my doggy, right now. Um... There's news and uh, that we didn't expect, and I'll probably release a video about that shortly. Um, so thanks for doing that, guys. It helps more than you know. And thanks for all these supers here for your comments, for watching, for being here. I will give you another update very, very soon about everything. Stay safe until then, guys. Bye.